Back. I'm Joey Samaka with Southern Charm Rees, where we make beautiful rees and teach you how to make and sell them. In this video, I want to show you how to make a funky bow. So let me make sure that you can see what I'm doing. Just going to zoom in. I want to first show off this cute little pumpkin sign. How adorable is this? Guess who painted it? It wasn't me. Um, it was Miss K. Didn't she do a good job? Uh, we're in the Brittany Young virtual paint party, and we learn to paint a new sign every month. Um, and this was what we had to do for this month, October. Isn't it fun? So she'll send out, if you join her party, her virtual paint party, she sends out the wooden pieces, and they're really nice. I mean, I could turn it over and paint the other side, um, but they're really nice, thick signs, high quality. And she gives you a video instructions on how to paint it. Um, it gives you the paint colors, you know, that you're going to need and all of that. So she sent, ships you the sign and you get to keep this and paint it the way you want to. I mean, you don't have to follow her instructions, but she, you would want to. I mean, she's so brilliant at what she does. Um, and she's such a ball of energy and fun to watch. So this is what we learned this month in the Brittany Young virtual paint party. Um, and I'm going to add a bow to the top of it. So I thought I would come on here live and show you. I know, isn't it cute, right? So this was Miss K. She did a good job. She's not a painter. I'm not a painter. Um, the, that's how good the instructions are. I'm serious. They are so her virtual paint party really teaches you how to be a good painter for your door hangers. All right, I'm going to get some wire and let me just show you real quick how I would make a bow for this. I'm going to come up about six inches and pinch it, and then I'm going to lay it down. I'm trying to see if I can see your sign, um, your comments. I'm going to lay it down on the mat and measure out 12 inches and bring it to the back, and then I'm going to twist. like that and now I'm going to do the other side with the um, a black piece of ribbon do the same thing about six inches lay it down to 12 bring it to the back twist I mean put it pinch it and then you're going to twist and then you're going to cut this off so this is what our bow looks like right now and now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and add this one. Hopefully I'll have enough. So I'm going to measure 12 inches and bring it to the back. And then probably not twist because this is a two-sided ribbon and I want both sides showing. And then I'm going to switch and go back to the orange. This time the loop, the ends are going up in the top, towards the top. And then I'm going to lay this down on the mat. Flip it to the back. And then twist. You twist so you the good side of the ribbon is always facing forward. And this is what we've got. I just think this is going to be a really, really cute bow for this sign. And now I'm going to take some florist wire and I'll flip my finger up, put the florist wire underneath it and bring it just like that to the back and twist. I'm just twisting this really tightly. I'm going to go ahead and add this to the sign. I think Miss Kate did a great job of painting this sign. Um, we have really been enjoying that virtual paint party um, of Brittany Young's 
We've learned so much. Plus, we get a, a really cute sign to hang up on our door. I'm just going to make sure that this wire is bent and not going to scratch the door. And now I'm just going to fluff the bow. And I'm going to go ahead and dovetail the ends of the ribbon. So we just fold it in half and cut it at a V. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the link in here for that for what I'm the Brit Brittany Young paint party. You're going to want to check it out for sure. Um, I'm I'm trying to see if I have any. Um, yep, yeah, there's a question about it. So let me see if I can comment. There you go. So that's the, the Brittany. Go to the website, check it out. There's a lot of wreath makers in her um, club because we're learning to make signs. Um, you can make your own door signs to go, you know, in wreaths or instead of wreaths, something else to add to an Etsy shop. Donna, you got the notification? Awesome. So I'm just dovetailing the ends. And then I'm going to spread the little tails around so the colors, you know, spread out. And there we have it. So there's our funky bow for our Halloween sign that we that we learned to paint in the Brittany Young virtual paint party. Miss Kay did it. She did an awesome job with the cute little spider over here. I just love it. Let's see if I can see your questions. Did you paint this sign? It's adorable. Donna, my daughter painted it um, using the instructions from the Brittany Young Virtual Paint Party. That's why I'm on here telling you about the, the, um, the paint party and also showing off the cute sign she made and how to make a funky bow to go with it. Thanks, Cheryl. Aw, oh, thanks for sharing. Sharing is caring. But I think she did a really cute job Comment and let me know if you have any questions. Um, I've been painting in the Brittany Young paint party since last, oh my gosh, last November. Can't believe it's almost been a year. Pretty, yeah, because the first thing I learned how to paint was a turkey. Where, is that still in here? And then we painted a flamingo one, year, one time and we painted, painted a joy sign and um, rain boots for spring. I mean, we've done a ton of stuff. I'm trying to see if I have it around here. I don't. But um, she teaches you how to paint exactly what to do, how to do the polka dots, how to highlight with the white paint, um, how to do all of it. So the next month, um, we're going to be doing a scarecrow for November. She's going to be teaching us how to do a scarecrow. But Here's the thing, if you want to join her virtual paint party and be included in next month's mailing of the sign, you have to join by tomorrow, tomorrow, Friday the 20th, not Friday, yeah, Friday, is tomorrow the Friday the 20th? It's got to be, you've got to join by that day because she has to cut it off, you guys. She has to cut it off in the first, the, by the 20th, in order to get all of the signs mailed out to everybody. Um, so if you're interested in joining, go check out the link. I've posted it in here. And um, let me know if you have any questions. But um, if you're interested in joining, you got to do it by tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day. 
But um, anyway, that's it. I just realized that you couldn't see me talking the whole time, but that's all right. Yay! So, um, does she include the paint? No, you buy the paint just at your local Hobby Lobby or, or Michael's, uh, Walmart even. And then um, she does furnish the sign. So, she furnishes the sign and the video instructions on how to paint it. Oh, thanks for sharing, Mary. She tells you exactly what paints to use, what colors, exactly. She'll tell you what brushes to use. She tells you what to spray on it after you finished to protect it and bring the color out even more. Oh, thanks, Donna. I think Miss Kay did a good job, too. Oh, thanks for sharing, you guys. All right, so I think that's it. I don't see how much for the sign. Um, oh, I'll have to ask Miss Kay. She painted it. I want to see if she's wanting to sell it. I'll have to ask her if she wants to sell the sign. We're just we're learning to paint for the fun of it. Um, we never thought we would um, somebody would want to buy our signs. Um, how fun is that, Miss Kay? Well, I'll have to ask her. She's not in the room. We'll have to think of a price and come back to you because we didn't even think about somebody who might be interested in selling it. I mean, buying it. Yet we're a mom-daughter team. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Anne. All right, so I think that's it. Um, comment you know below if you have any questions. Again, if you want to join um, for next month, which is the scarecrow sign she's going to teach us how to make a scarecrow sign join by tomorrow tomorrow's the last day to opt in um and she'll mail out the sign i usually get it about the first week of november and if it's not the first week it might be a few days um into the second week it really just depends on you know how the week falls you know if the first day of the month is on a friday then obviously it's going to be the second week but it usually takes i want to see you have the sign by the 10th of the month um no later than the 15th not that she guarantees it i'm just telling you my experience with her membership um and we get the sign we log on to her website with a, a password and a login and she tells us what colors to go by um, she tells us exactly with the video how to paint it, where to do what, you know, how much paint to put on your brush and how to turn your wrist um, for certain things. And then um, she'll tell you after, you know, after it's dried, what to spray on it so that it keeps its, um, you know, is durable outside. And then it makes the colors pop too. And you could put a little glitter spray on it too. Um, people have done that and then um, I just came on here and did the little funky bow just to tie it all together um, I think it turned out so cute so the, definitely go check out the virtual paint party by Brittany Young I've posted the link on here let me know if you have any questions and you guys have a very blessed day